Jay Rose with Thomas McCune and NOLA.com with Terrell Chapman over at Central High School. Uh, been committed to Miami since, I guess, the summer, about May, June yeah, type of time. Um, and even at that point, you said you were still hearing from a lot of schools, still talking to a lot of schools. Um, Arizona, Arizona State were two big ones. Um, still, I mean, you're still kind of hearing some things. You, you just getting back from TCU. Arizona State's in here this morning, going to Arizona State this weekend. And then over to, uh, to Miami again right before signing day. What's it been like the, the last couple months, particularly these last couple weeks? What are some of the things you're hearing and, and the things that you're trying to, to kind of figure out and, and weigh one last time? I mean, coaches is telling me how I fit in their offense and things like that, you know, trying to persuade me to come to their school and things. And just telling me the ups and downs of this program and things like that, basically. And I know Tulane was, was hoping maybe get you for a while. Yes, sir. Coach Rosina was saying it's probably Donnie Lewis in his yeah. ear a little bit. Yes, sir. I've heard Deshaun Raymond at the, heading to TCU is talking yeah. to you a bunch. Yeah, are you a players recruiting me? You know, you hear a lot. Goes. Yes, sir. Um, what What do they try and tell you about the programs that are that they're either at or where they're they're going? I mean, the players I've heard from just basically telling me that I have a chance to play early and things like that, and it's big. It's real big. Um, do you know? Have you had a chance to? to get to know many guys going to Miami just through the months and visits and, and different camps over the summer and anything like that? The only one I've heard from is um, Stanley Doboy from New Orleans. Yeah. You might know him. Yeah. That's really the only one from Miami I've heard from. Um, and what he has to say is pretty much the same type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, pretty much the same type of stuff. Um, so with you know two weeks left, still committed to Miami, how – how firm is that? What are your feelings about Miami and just the whole process right now, knowing it's winding down? I mean, I still feel like I did the day I committed to him. So, yeah, I still pretty much feel the same about him. Um, how, much, how much has that relationship grown since then? Because obviously you liked what you saw when you went on that trip to commit, but what has the relationship been like with those guys since that point? Oh, it's been great. We keep we keeping in contact a lot. You know, I talk to him probably four times out of every week. So, you know, we keep in contact. Pretty pretty much looking forward to work signing day itself. Yeah, yeah. Is it more a feeling of, like, excitement or anxiety or looking forward to a little relief from all of this stuff and all the coaches? To be honest, it's kind of – I'm looking forward to a little relief because, you know, I've been hearing a lot, you know, basketball, school, all that. That's a lot to put together. So, you know, kind of looking forward to a little relief. What else does this spring kind of hold for you in terms of – uh, I mean, obviously basketball, um, but just more finishing up the year, maybe looking a little bit ahead to that football and different things you might be working on or, or just a focus once these, these visits are out the way. Basically just preparing for college because, you know, college is a whole other level. So, yeah, basically just working on just to get better for college. Any specific things or just kind of a little bit of everything? A little bit of everything. Yeah. Again, Terrell Chapman over at Central High School and for Thomas Pekino, Jared Roser.